Hey guys, what's up? It's Quicksilver here. Um, man, I am excited. Uh, 1.5.2 actually came out yesterday, and I'm pretty psyched because some of their minor bug fixes relating to HD textures has fixed my texture pack, which makes me a happy camper. Um, I don't know if you guys might have noticed before, but sometimes like on the seams of textures, there seemed to be like some weird, I don't know, I almost call it like a star bug, and there were some extra pixels and crap like that around my torches and stuff like that but it appears they have fixed all of that with uh, 152 so I'm happy about that um, <clears throat> also I think my finally beaten back my cold so or at least enough that I have a, a voice so that's a good thing uh, and as you can tell what I'm looking at there I've been doing some work on the iron golem farms um, I think I have both sides set up about the same if memory serves uh, I did record some of that stuff, so I might throw together a vignette for you guys. I'm not really sure yet. It's uh, kind of boring, and I feel like uh, Doc's tutorial is actually so damn thorough, I might not worry about it. Uh, I will show you, however, how I'm getting my villagers up in here, because that's something that Doc doesn't really cover on how to get them up in there. Um, I know there are a lot of schools of thought on this. Uh, I think Doc may talk about in his, in his um, tutorial about using uh, like a mob evader sort of a design to get the villagers up to like the top um, but I done, did something a little different I figured I had all these extra minecart tracks just from porting the villagers over here from uh, the village so I thought I'd go ahead and I'd put some of them to use uh, let's see if daylight's gonna cooperate with us enough so I guess the first thing um, when I got over here was to obviously build the I guess we'll call it a ramp up there and just a couple things actually prior to that this little system down here with the doors the one thing that I didn't take into consideration was the proximity of uh, all the doors that I'm putting it up here for the iron farm these guys have been going nuts um, and there's a weird glitch the babies will sometimes pop outside here and the weird thing about that is they all want to run to the nearest village and they consider this to be the village center so usually they'll congregate right around over here so if uh, if during the course of this you see me just mercilessly destroying villagers, there's actually a reason for it because I don't want them to not spawn in here where I can control them. So just to show you, I guess to show you the setup here, uh, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm working them up here, and then once I get up top, I'm going to move them to the holding cell, if you want to call it that, that uh, they will spend the rest of their days in. Um, I've powered these guys with some levers, so, and actually this one in particular, a lever, was a fantastic idea to do because it's, uh, let me keep this as a break because there were a few times that I sent that cart screaming up here, which really kind of sucked. Um, I created just a little track around here, so these guys only have like a one wide block where they can go, so as soon as I push this through, it should grab that guy. Um, and I have powered rails over here that I'm powering from above with a redstone torch. Actually, I actually didn't know you could do that until I was trying to figure this out, so little tip in case you didn't know it either. Uh, then I'm going to throw a glass block here so I can keep the mobs out of there but the villagers in the carts I think are going to go speeding right through there. So I think that's going to work out for us. So let me go up top here just to make sure that I have uh, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that I have it going to the right cell and uh, if we do then I will go ahead and we'll give a little test, not a test run, I've actually done it a few times up here already we'll give it a test run with you guys watching so you can kind of see how it's going so yeah so I've already I've left these guys in place so it's easy to kind of route them around um, I've got this dude already hanging out in here I am throwing them in one at a time just because I don't want to have more than one in there because they'll start to breed up here and the last thing I want is to get six or seven in one cell because I want to make sure that I have them all evenly distributed so ultimately when this thing is done as Doc mentioned in this tutorial we're gonna have we're gonna want to have four villagers in each cell and ultimately this area up here is going to have water in it, uh, just like the area down here below it does right now. So it looks like I am all set up to go ahead and send a guy up here. Um, yeah, I've already got the ladders in the cells, so what will happen is I'll send the cart up here. It'll go speeding off this edge, and that guy will land down in the water. And when he does, I'll jump in there after him, break the cart out, and we'll repeat the process with the cell over here. So... <coughs> looks like the sun is gonna set on us so uh, let me go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and run back to my base and sleep really fast I don't think I need to worry about these guys in the nighttime because this place is so overly lit up it's ridiculous but again that's something I would hate to find out 
Oh man, I should have just waited. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep really fast and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm back and uh, as you guys can see actually there's two little escapees down here right now. So uh, I'm going to go deal with them. But yeah, it's kind of interesting because they were not there when I went in to sleep and now that I have come out they are. So I'm wondering are they glitching out of here somehow? Ah, uh, you know what? Those little bastards, they are. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to have to wait now, I guess, for these guys to, to breed before I send any up, because if I don't have uh, enough guys there, that's going to be a problem. Alright, well, maybe I will dink around with this off-camera a little bit. Man, that makes me mad. I'll dink around with this little off-camera. Maybe I can find a way to get these two guys up to... Uh, okay, guys, so here we go. Um, learned an important lesson about uh, dealing with these little idiots, and that would be make sure that you have... Uh, uh, come on, dude. Yeah, go work your way over there. Make sure you have your redstone torch where you're actually sho trying to shove them into a minecart. Make sure that's turned off because otherwise your minecart does this really annoying thing like fly all the way up to where you ultimately are going to want it, but not where you want it right away. <laughs> so all right, looks like I've got one of these guys up here. Finally, I can show you this stuff. So um, looks like those two are behaving in their tracks for now, or in their tracks, in their carts at least for now. So it'll be interesting to... Uh, to sleep when it's uh, fully nighttime here, and see if they stay where they're where they're supposed to be. I'm assuming that they will, but uh, it's kind of disturbing to me that they glitched out like that. Oh, yep. So this guy, since he's not hanging out in the middle here, which I thought he would be, yep, he's made it all the way across. So now that I've got him in place, we'll break that out. I don't care if I piss you off, pal. Trust me, you've caused me more anger than you will know. So there we go. There's another guy up here. So. I'm going to go sleep and check on my villagers over there, make sure they stay where they're supposed to stay. Um, and then once I'm done with that, maybe we'll try and if this guy survives the night down here, he's kind of chillaxing by himself, um, maybe I'll see if I can't get him up here next, and then we'll start uh, trying to figure out what to do with these two morons. Um, at this point, I'm thinking maybe I'll break these doors down here and see if that makes a difference for them. So, yeah, uh, I will be right back again, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, it's morning, guys. And, yeah, it looks like these guys didn't glitch out this time, so that makes me happy. Um, doofus number four over here is still alive, so that makes me also happy. So let's go up top here and reroute these tracks really fast and see if we can't uh, encourage him to cooperate and come live in a pit of water for the rest of his days. <coughs> I'll tell you from experience of uh, building these things in the past, the part that's really going to suck, actually the, the other, other one that I've built of these things, uh, it was really nice, I actually built it on the Weaver RuneCraft server, and so I was able to use a Flight Ruin to actually be able to fly around, and trust me man, Flight makes these things so much easier, so if you're building one of these in Creative, your life is going to be a lot simpler. Well, first of all, you can just chuck villager eggs in here, and that'll make your life a lot simpler in and of itself. But, um, yeah, if you're doing it uh, the old-fashioned way, like I'm doing here, uh, it's a little tricky. But the thing that's uh, the worst, as I recall, about this, even doing this in, uh, in creative, was waiting for the villagers to actually spawn the proper amounts in their, uh, their holding cells up there. Um, that was a little bit of a waiting game. Come on. Oh, I guess I'm hungry, so let's eat really fast, and I can run and jump on the fence. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a waiting game, and as I recall, it took a while to finally get them to spawn the right way in the right spots. Let's see if we can't bump these two together and have them hang out. Yeah, no, 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 you stay over here, chat with your pal. <coughs> of course, now, the other, as it's turned out, I'm sure the other guy's gone zipping around the other side. Yep, oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Thank God I broke that out. <sighs> yeah, so, these guys are a bit of a bitch to deal with, I don't mind telling you. Now the problem is, if I put something in here to hold them in place, what's going to happen is they're going to have a baby and he's going to... Oh, I guess you can't get out this way. Okay, well, <coughs> I will continue to jack around with these guys and get it sorted out. So, alright, um, again, I hate to do this to you, but I don't think you guys want to watch me shove these guys around in their minecarts. Or maybe you do, hell, I don't know. Um, Ha, huh, that's right. All right. Here you go, Mr. Special. Yep, that's right. 
if you want to do the same thing right there on that dirt, ah, super. Cool. All right, so now he should be stuck there right next to his pal. Hopefully they will be able close enough to chit-chat and have babies, and life will be good. So, okay, in the meantime, let's go try and save the uh, escapee. <coughs> and I think I can do that. His friend was pretty cooperative with me shoving him around. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do this because I did have my cart go flying off once before. <laughs> really? Okay. And you're floating on a torch because... Just fuck you, that's why, right? Alright, let's see if I can shove him over there now. Hey, aren't you lonely? <coughs> that sounded really creepy. Alright, dude. Let's go. Move it. Got a nice little isolated water cell for you up there. That's what uh, what you get for escaping first. You were doomed to eventually spend your time there. What are you selling anyway? Meat for emeralds? You should be incarcerated. Alright. And I think I'm going to... Oh, no, 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 God! Yeah, really? <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, I'm just not having a good day here. <laughs> I'm getting really good at jumping up dirt. <laughs> Villager capture, take 64. No, nope, get him. There you go, you shithead. You're going to zap him back this way, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to shove him back the right way. Okay. There we go. Finally. Good lord. Alright, so that's four of them down. The thing that ticks me off a little bit is I had plenty, plenty more of these guys. Um, all chillaxing down here, so now i got to figure out what to do about the rest of them. I may actually need to move them into a new little hidey hole, I guess. If it's too close to this, uh, this farm, and they're going to keep on escaping, I may need to actually move them out of here. God, I hope that's not the case. Oh, man. Tell me I brought ladders with me. Oh, thank God. One thing right. <clears throat> Alright, so at least now we have one villager in each little holding cell here. So I got that going for me. Um, I guess the next step will be to take them back into here. But I gotta figure out uh, the whole spawning issue now at this point. So okay, um, I don't remember seeing any of them come out of their uh, out of the little village, I guess if you want to call it this little area here, before I put those dirt blocks in and broke the fences here. So maybe there's just some sort of a weird AI kind of a glitch with that. So let me try and break this out. Um, I gotta get some fences. I'll I'll break this out. And try and throw some fences back in here and to see if I can bust these guys out of their mine carts and see if they will stay put. If they don't, I don't know, maybe I'll just build a little holding cell over there for them and yeah, that might not be a bad idea and just let them kind of hang out over there since that seems to be where they want to be anyway. Um, I guess as long as they've got a um, uh, fence around them to keep them safe, then they probably won't need anything more than that. I don't think it's important that they're able to go inside to spawn, so maybe I'll do that and we'll see what happens. Um, <coughs> I've certainly got enough fences to work on that, so I think I'm going to give that a whirl, and I will check back in with you after I've got the little holding cell over there built and how that stuff done, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. Okay, guys, so I definitely have a problem here. I had a, an escapee here, and there's some zombies over there that have not seen him yet, so I am definitely going to have to move this little village. I hate to say it, man, but if I don't, I'm definitely going to have problems with... Uh, longevity of these guys so um that's a bit of a bummer uh i guess i will go ahead and do that uh off camera and let you guys know well I, yeah, yeah, yeah i see you little zombie villager get out of here beat it pal i hope he died yeah okay so i think he's pretty happy to just kind of stand right here because of uh the perceived village above him I don't know why he feels safe here, but uh, whatever. Um, I'm not sure how this guy got out. He shouldn't have been able to because he was stuck inside there with the other guy. Yeah, I know. Don't look at me like that, you little weirdo. I'm talking about you. <coughs> um, he should not have been able to get out of there, but uh, clearly there's some sort of glitch that's... Uh, I don't know if it's been introduced, if it's a 1.5.2 thing, or if it's uh, something deeper than that that I just was unaware of. So... 
anyway pitfall for you guys to be aware of if you are building one of these things make sure that your villager spawning grounds aren't too close because like I said I mean you guys saw it these guys were uh, were both uh, fenced in there pretty well there's no way they should have been able to get out so I'm not sure what's going on but uh, I think I have a solution for it so um, <coughs> it's gonna suck a little bit to move them it's gonna suck a little more to move them back but uh, they weren't uh, getting little heart things over their head either so I think they might have just been a little too close to um, man yeah I'm not liking that at all I don't feel very safe uh, yep 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 yeah, you're trying to come over here with your little skelly buddy aren't you and you, yep ah thank you son Aww. so okay um <laughs> enough of that I'm gonna light this little area up around I guess that's Ig, I don't remember if that's Ig or Ook, but I'm going to go ahead and light it up a little bit and try to keep him from dying. Oh, thanks buddy. Extra bow. I can't pick it up. I actually went mining for a little bit while I was uh, waiting to see if they were going to do anything, so I'll get rid of some cobblestone. God knows I don't need any more of that. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and I guess get those guys, I'll get him moved over and then I'll try and move this dude over there as well. Um, I'll do that off camera. I'm not going to build them any kind of grandiose hut as punishment for their insolence. They will get a dirt hut over there or something really ridiculous like that. So I'll get that dealt with. Uh, I'll make sure I'm 100 blocks away from this thing. And yeah, then we'll hopefully we'll be back in business. So I'll see you guys. I just had a bit. thought that I'm going to go ahead and give a try. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but I think what I'm going to do is while I'm trying to build plan B, which would be taking these dinkleberries over to... Uh, the other side um, or to a new home I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't just move this guy over into the holding cell where they seem to like to go anyway and uh, see if they'll breed over there because I guess if uh, if I could get them to breed down there that wouldn't be the end of the world right so um, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna go for hopefully that guy will stay in there if I bust that fence out I have a feeling he probably will not but at the same time, they've been pretty happy to uh, to go over there. So, all right, so what's going to happen? I'll put the cart on there. I'll zip around, back up here, head over this way, down here, and he'll slam into the fence there. So I'll tell you what, I might, yeah, I've got the stuff to do it, too. Let's make sure that uh, dude boy there is going to stick around. I'm going to go ahead and just do that number, bash that out, and then I should be able to just run some tracks under there. And Ook will go right in underneath there. <coughs> there we go. Alright, let's go send that jackass over there. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, I apologize, guys. This episode's not going at all like I had intended it to go, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully we're all learning something from it. Yep, yep, there you go. Zip on by, buddy. It is pretty damn funny to watch them go, I'll tell you what. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. Wrong, ain't. Been beat up in that alley too many times. You go in there. <coughs> um, I'm going to bust that out because I don't want him to kill himself on it. Yeah, snoogans. All right. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Good deal. All right, good deal. Whew. All right, so life's throwing me a little bit of a break. So I'm going to do that, and we're just going to see what those two guys decide to do. Uh, in the meantime, I will go over and build a another at least, at least a temporary holding cell for them, just because I don't want to uh, take the chance that this doesn't work. Ah, oh, come on, man. Smack this. There we go. All righty. Now you can glitch into the ground. I know you guys like doing that. It's fun for you. Whatever. Okay, guys. Looks like I might have caught a small break here. Uh, even though it doesn't look like it right now, I don't know if you can see kind of poking out of that guy's butt. Uh, looks like he's wearing assless pants or something. Uh, they have actually spawned in this little tiny cell here, so I'm happy. That means they're linking up with the village above them, and I don't have to worry about showing you guys this long <laughs> trench that I've built uh, that goes over to a little mud hut. So um, I guess I'm just going to find another project to do for a little while. Uh, maybe I'll just do some mining or something dumb like that while those guys have a couple more babies. And I think uh, the way that I'm going to get them out of here is probably going to do the same thing I did to get them in. I'll put the glass 
piece in the middle there um, with a dirt block on top so they can't climb on that and get out. I'll do the same on this side and then I'll just shove a minecart through the cell and it should pick up uh, should pick one of them up as it uh, as it passes through and then from there I will just reroute this thing so it goes up the hill and gets them up into our cells. So it looks like we're back in business at least. Um, it's kind of weird. I've, I've never seen the baby villagers so docile I guess just kind of he's just kind of chilling out there with his two dads <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I guess knock out that ugly bridge maybe try and refill some of that terraforming over there and we'll see if they've had any more kids okay there. guys so I'm trying an experiment here I've uh, dropped this in place and you can kind of see the baby villager a little better here now um, I've dropped the glass block dirt block combo in place and I'm I've taken a risk at popping out the fence here I'm not sure. I know they changed mob heights for animals so that uh, something like a cow or a pig or a baby pig or a baby cow would walk right underneath that. Actually, a baby pig would probably do it, or a pig would do it, regardless if it's baby or not. But I'm not sure if they've done it with uh, the villagers. So far, this guy's not really moving, so maybe I'm lucky. Maybe if there's not a door or a house or something for him to play with, they just kind of stand around. So we will find out. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this kind of like that and we'll see what happens. It'll be a risk to see if that one guy runs away. Uh, I did finish up uh, ripping down the little bridge that was over here and the terraforming to rebuild that hillside. Uh, you can see way off in the distance a dirt hut is still there. I think I'm going to leave that because what that's going to let me do is it's kind of marking out for me what's a hundred blocks away from the iron golem farm. So if I ever want to do a villager um, trading area or something like that I know where I can build it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give these guys a couple of minutes to see if the baby escapes or if they have another one um, that would be awesome uh, well the, having another one not the baby escaping of course um, if they do if he does escape then I'll have to block it back in and figure out a it'll just be a little bit risky I guess when I'm moving them out of there if there are any babies in there but um, I'm hoping I can leave it like that and then when I want to cart them out of there as long as I've got one and a baby or two of them and a baby or whatever then I can send it through and uh, try and get somebody out of there so in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wire this sucker up. I guess I guess that's the right terminology for it. Um, I'll run it up here and take it on up. So I'll get that built and be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, so it looks like my little baby villager grew up, which is a beautiful thing. Oh, and he's wanting some loving already. I'll let you guys uh, see if you want to do any, any good stuff here. Pop out a little wee while we're waiting. Nope, not going to happen. Don't like the newcomer, do you? Oh, oh, you like the one in the white. All right, well, we're going to see what's going to happen here. And if the answer to that is nothing, then I'm going to ferry one of you guys away. Come on. You know you like him. No, you don't like me. You and your crappy clock offer. Fifteen pork chops for an emerald. Emerald for melons. Shoosh. No wonder they don't like you, buddy. All right, here we go. We're going to get one of these guys out of here. Zoop. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Come on now. Ha. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come on back this way. That's right. Yeah. Shoot. I think his buddy's in the way on the track. There we go. There we go. Yes. Celebrate your buddy's departure by having lots and lots of villager sex. <coughs> Let's have new villagers. Thank God. Okay, so now I'm back in business again, at least it looks like, guys. Jeez. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and check on these guys. I may actually check on the length of this video, too. It's actually, I don't know how much I've been recording and how much I've not been recording, but uh feels like I've been doing this for quite some time now. So I want to make sure that I don't, uh, that I'm not going too long here. Yeah, that guy's just happy to see you, man. <coughs> All right, so that, uh, that cell is done. So now that that's done, I'm going to sacrifice these two ladders that are in there. Of course, I don't have an axe, so I guess I'll just use my trusty minecart to break them free. So this cell should be finished, so I'm going to pop these guys free. And we will start routing them another direction. So, yeah, there we go. Um, it's, <laughs> it's that simple <laughs> to get your own villager, uh, to get your own iron golem farm going. Uh, it is a pain in the ass, guys, but uh, if you're not familiar with these, which I can't imagine you wouldn't be, they're pretty, since they're pretty prominent features in most, uh, at least on most YouTubers' videos here, um, 
I'd be really shocked if you weren't familiar with them. But anyway, uh, if you're not familiar with them by some off chance, these things are phenomenal as far as their iron output goes. They're a great way to get iron. It sure as heck beats you know, digging around in the dirt for it. Um, yeah, man, this could be an issue. I don't know. I might be... You might see me up here killing off uh, baby villagers if, they, if I get more than four in a cell. Because the one thing I can't have them do is I can't have them screw up my breeding down below. Because I still need to get the little partners in these other three cells. So I'll go ahead and uh, keep plugging away at that stuff. And maybe what we'll end up doing is in this video I'll put the lid on this thing, finish out the water streams, and get this one fully functioning. And then I'll, I'll maybe off camera I'll finish out the other one because that has absolutely nothing done with it as far as villagers being put in place or anything like that. Um, I wonder if I can, yeah, I can hop down here and show you guys. Um, <coughs> although I don't, honestly, I don't recall. I was pretty sick while I was building this thing. So um, I don't really remember what exactly I've got over here. I think it's just pretty much, well, you know, I don't think I have the top floor on there. So you might be able to see, wow, I might not even put the water streams in yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I have. I can hear the water. So, yeah, okay, so that's what it looks like underneath that floor that we're uh, carting the villagers around on. Um, Doc does a pretty thorough job explaining how to lay your water blocks down here. Uh, the one thing that I didn't do that he does do in his video is I didn't stick torches all over every wall. Believe it or not, I've kind of hit a, a weird block in the game. I'm not really finding very much coal anymore. When I first started this thing out, man, that stuff was everywhere. But for one reason or other, uh, I don't seem to be finding a ton of it. So I didn't want to go too crazy with this. I hate making charcoal and burning up uh, wood from trees. It seems ridiculous that I would even need to do that. Um, with all the mining that I still have to do for you know the cave lighting for the witch hut over there, um, and the actual strip or I guess branch mine that I've got working underground over here, <coughs> I'm sure it's just a matter of time before I find another good vein of that stuff. So I'm not too concerned with it. But um, anyway, uh, I did want to conserve some coal, so I didn't light up every single thing here. I don't think that's necessary anyway. It's plenty bright in that thing. There's no uh, no dark spaces in there. Um, but as you can see by watching the water flow, similar to when we were building the uh, the mob farm. Ooh, pardon my lag stutter there. Uh, water does that sometimes to me. Um, you can see, basically, I put down the four dirt blocks right in this corner, like Doc ta tells you to do in his video. Uh, same with that corner, that corner, and this corner. Then I filled in every single other block on the wall with uh, with water. So there's water source blocks all the way along. And that gives you this nice, pretty, you know, basically all this stuff going into the middle, and then you get this nice little seam where the where the corners meet. Um, then you tear out the dirt sort dirt blocks that are here, which does when you're doing that, it does give you some weird backflow issues. But as soon as you put your water source block in this corner, it fixes all that, and you get this really cool look. And anyway, bottom line is the villagers when they're hanging out in here. Uh, because they're equally spaced apart, and this is the size of one village, they will spawn their golems somewhere inside of here, and then the water will push them to the middle where they will drop through. So our golems are going to drop out of that side into the, uh, I guess, the golem tubes, the golem moving tubes, whatever you want to call them. It'll push them over to the center. Uh, we'll burn them with some lava in the interim so that they're hurt when they get there, and then we'll have uh, a system to kill them. And I'm thinking I might fully automate this thing. I think I can use some trip wires and uh, some pistons and things like that so that as soon as my golems drop in, they will die. Uh, then I will use hoppers to collect their loot and dump it into a chest. So, like I said, I think ultimately, right about where I'm standing here, there's going to be some kind of a, a building that uh, I'll have storage in it and all that good stuff. So when my golems die, I'll have a place to store all the iron that they give, and I shouldn't miss out on any of that stuff. Because I think while I'm working around the base here, um, these guys are going to constantly be spawning, and I don't want to have to rely on running over here and pushing a button to kill them or anything like that. So I think that's my plan, at least for now. Um, we'll see how that kind of evolves on me as I'm, as I'm doing more of this. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. So let's see if, uh, if our villagers have been feeling randy down here. <coughs> nope, doesn't look like it. Just kind of chilling out. Hmm, at least they're moving around a little more now. Although that does concern me a little bit. I mean, maybe they did get Randy and I lost a villager outside. The baby. Although, you know what? He would come back to his parents. He'd be wanting to hang out over here, I'm sure. And interestingly, maybe I, uh, just in case they do run out, maybe I should leave a gap in the fence here. I'm not too worried that a zombie's going to crawl his way up here, but 
Maybe if a baby comes out or if a villager is somehow spawns outside of that thing, like I was having happen before, although I think they were just glitching out, maybe they will uh, run up here to run inside at night time if they happen to bump into it. Come on. Come on, you saw those hearts. Get with the lovin'. All right, um, I'll let these guys do what they're going to do, and I will check back in with you, hopefully, when I've got uh, eight villagers, you know, two in each cell up there, and we can let them do their thing up there and put the lid on it all and make this side semi-functioning. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I just checked the length on this, and uh, it is getting pretty long, as you guys know. Huh, that's cool. There's a little dirt hut. Didn't realize you could see it from up here. Uh, anyway, it is getting a little bit long, so I am going to call it a video. Uh, I have a ton more footage that I've still got to go through. Um, rest assured, I, I did finally get all the stuff figured out for the Iron Golem farm. Um, so I think, I, was, I apologize that this was so much uh, of villager technology, I guess, <laughs> is a pretty, maybe a good way to describe it. Um, I promise the next video will show the completion of the Iron Golem farm, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get the kill chamber completed and all that good stuff for you too so anyway uh, like this if you have not already subscribe if you have not already uh, if you have I appreciate it thank you very much and uh, I will see you next time